purchased a Gen Mitsu 3020 Pro Max CNC router. I knew I would be limited to smaller projects because of the size of the router, but I didn't anticipate the fun that I would have by trying different things. The learning curve was pretty steep and I was very happy to make some headway on some of the lessons learned which I'll provide a summary of at the end of this video. Learning the CA glue method of mounting your wood to the base of the CNC router was a huge win. I uh, got rid of all the mounting brackets that I was struggling with. This first terrain model that I attempted was Grandview Point in Moab, Utah. And I learned that you can't have edges on the side of your model because as your bit goes deeper, you tend to burn the chuck into the edge. On my second attempt of a terrain map, I used a model that would push the limits of my small CNC machine. You can see the material is much larger and I had to change up some things which added to my lessons learned during the whole project. Basically zeroing to the bed allowed me to change bits in the middle of the material cut even though the place where I zeroed it was now gone and gave me some uh, continuity. Another important lesson learned was to take a picture of your zero coordinates with your phone because you'll need to refer back to it invariably if your machine loses its zero and you need to reset the whole thing. I went ahead and made this beautiful enclosure which is from uh, James Dean online. Lots of good videos uh, to use online and uh, didn't lock the CNC from moving on the left hand side which pulled out a stepper motor wire during use and fried the controller board. So all production went to zero until I got a new controller board replaced. But then came back and uh, started doing this and was really excited to see the effect of the finish bit on the final uh, terrain. I'll include a link on the video notes as to where you can go to get your terrain carving experience. found an excellent video by a gentleman that explains how to use Touch Terrain, which is a website. I'm always interested in hearing feedback on improvements that I can make to my methodology. I've been learning a lot and uh, want your recommendations on how to even do better. the reason terrain maps are so interesting to people is because it represents important places that you've been or you've seen and although my second terrain I feel is much more interesting than my first terrain the first terrain represents a place that I took a vacation to and I'll show you a photograph of an actual spot on the map that's very meaningful to me but what a great exercise and a way to come up with something beautiful <laughs>